And um, glory to God. Amen. They're in this place. Amen. The angels are here today. But um, it just uh, one of the stories that just stuck out to me. And I had it in another order. And, you know, the Holy Spirit can change our order. So he, he changed the, the order on this. And I'm just going to tell this one because I actually put it in the back of my notes. And I'm just going to tell it from the way I remember it as best I remember it. And um, there was this, um, this woman, um, police, police woman, and she's driving in her police car. And she's a little bitty, petite, five foot tall woman. That's an important feature in this. You need to know this. She's a little bitty. She's petite. She's very small. And said that the Holy Spirit, she's driving around. She's praying. The Holy Spirit quickened her. Said, watch them because you're going to have to pull them over. And she's like, huh? Watch them. You're going to have to pull that car over. And so she's, she's watching. She's watching very carefully. She started following that car. And um, they... They did a couple of things. They crossed the line a couple of times. They, I think they didn't yield the right of way or something. She said, so I've got a reason now to actually just do what the Holy Spirit is telling me to do. So she, she pulled him over, this, this guy. Now remember, she's five foot tall, and she's very, very small. And uh, she pulls this, this car over, and she sees this. the car door was kicked open by the largest foot she's ever seen in her life. She said it was just kicked open. And she said, and out of the car came a man that was at least six foot four. And she said, he had meat on his bones. She said, she said I'm just thinking how on God's earth. She said, Holy Spirit, you done messed me up. Holy Spirit, you got me in something that I, I she's a little bit, how am I gonna handle this? What am I gonna do? And, and she's like, you know, she said, I need backup. She started calling for backup while he's, he's, he didn't cut his foot. He got his foot out the door. She said, I need backup right now. Right now. She's telling him, I need backup. So she walks to the car. She orders him, get out of the car right now. You know, like, like, like she, she could do something, you know. And she orders him, get out of that car. And, uh, you know, get against that car. She said when he turned against the car, she saw the gun. He had a gun ready to pull. And um, she said, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you got me in this. And she said, I need backup. I need backup right now. Bring me backup. Send me backup. And um, so she said, I'm going to have to try this. And so she's, she's praying. She's doing what she knows to do. And, and you know, she's, she takes the gun from him. Okay. And now she's going to have to search him for other weapons or, or whatever, you know. And this, this man, she said, I'm, I'm this, I'm his five foot tall. And him kneeling down by that car is almost as tall as I am. And, and he is one big man. She said, what am I? You know, she said, I need backup. Well, he, he had turned to her by then. And uh, he, he said, what's wrong with the one you got? <laughs> and she said, I never, ever, you know, she said, I, I turned, she didn't see anything when she turned around. And she said, out of her spirit, man. She said these words happen. I don't know if you've ever had this happen to you, but sometimes your spirit will speak. And I mean, I'm not talking about something you pre-planned, you didn't have any thought of it. And she said out of her spirit, she heard herself say, he's a rookie, he likes to fight. And she was like, and the guy's eyes got real big. And he said, I wouldn't mess with him. And then she's, you know, checking him and checking his car. And she finds all kind of weapons like 240 rounds of ammo, a sawed-off shotgun. He's, you know, they, they pulled the, the rap sheet or whatever, and it was just it, it, tremendous things uh, through years and years and years that, that had been going on. He was going somewhere to cause something. But um, anyway, the, this guy, she called him the brawny man, like the brawny commercial with the brawny. She, she called him the brawny man. That's what she nicknamed him. She said, the brawny man is suddenly, he's talking to the angel that's behind me that I can't see. And, and he, he starts saying, he said, uh, he said, I know you didn't get that off of a rack somewhere, that police outfit that you got. He said, where did you, you had to have that specially made, right? And, and you know, there's, she couldn't hear nothing, you know. And the, and the, 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 the guy that's, that's being, had been handcuffed and all this, he, he said, he, he don't talk much, does he? She said, he don't have to. She said, he said, you're right. He said, you're right. <laughs> 